danger triggered inside an apartment. A boy rushed to the hospital after a bullet is fired. Police making arrests as they try to get to the bottom of what happened. Seven's Adriana Hopkins is live at Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital where the young victim was taken. Still a lot of questions as to what exactly happened in that Pembroke Park apartment yesterday afternoon, but we do know a little boy was seriously injured and we know this morning he is breathing on his own. I thought it was fireworks, so I didn't really know. We just ran out. Shanique Heron says she, her sister, and their boyfriends were asleep in this Pembroke Park apartment on Southwest 41st Street Wednesday morning when that loud crackle woke them up. The only one not asleep, her five-year-old nephew, Anthony, who was clearly hurt. We don't know at this point if the child was actually shot. Doctors are going to have to eventually tell us that um, after they do more medical tests. He was bleeding from his chest. Yeah. I don't really, I didn't really see, I just seen blood everywhere, so we just started panicking and went to the hospital. Neighbors say they did hear one gunshot and a woman screaming. Detectives say they have recovered a handgun, but will not say who it belongs to. So detectives are talking to all the occupants of the house to determine exactly what happened. It's unclear exactly what they learned, but deputies ended up arresting the boy's stepfather at the hospital and minutes later, two unidentified men at the apartment. Deputies say charges against each of the three are pending. Anthony's aunt says back at the hospital, her nephew underwent surgery. Do they know yet if he actually was hit by a bullet? No, not that I know of. Mm -hmm. All I they said it was like pieces of shards, that was it. That's what they think it was? Have you been able to see him? How's he doing? He's okay, he's breathing on his own. And at this hour, we don't have the suspects' names or the charges they're facing. Of course, we expect to get an update later today. And once we do, we'll bring that information to you. For now, reporting live here in Hollywood, Adriana Hopkins, Today in Florida.